The Americans are not much different from Canadians. They all want the same things out of life. The amount of work up here is just outstanding, and the billions of dollars of capital projects that are slated the next few years. Take a close look at our immigration uh, policy. We need them to help us build a replacement workforce. Temporary foreign workers initially are a contingency workforce to come and fill a niche as needed. But, you know, over the long haul, there is and there should be opportunities for those people to get landed immigrant status here and become Canadians. I mean, that ultimately can be and should be the objective. There's a number of reasons why tradespeople should consider uh, uh, coming to Canada and why they should consider a trade once they arrive here. First off, temporary foreign workers, before they could even enter the country, they've got to be qualified, they've got to be certified uh, from their countries of origin. So most of the workers that we would get in Canada would be qualified, skilled folks. There are some initiatives and there needs to be more to allow the people that have had experience working in our industry in Canada and want to stay here to have them become immigrants and to bring their families. Because while we need their skills, we really need their families. There's lots of resources available uh, to workers coming in from outside of Canada. We're certainly going to be looking at encouraging these folks to become part of that construction workforce. Legislation is in place that, that, that allows for people to become permanent residents. The, the one thing that's interesting in the Canadian law, if you want to become a Canadian citizen, you do not have to give up your U.S. citizenship to do that, which I think is great. So there's an opportunity to become both a U.S. and a Canadian citizen if they wanted to do that. Temporary foreign workers are a, a, a band-aid to me. Um, to bring in Americans is a good way to go about it. Take a close look at our immigration uh, policies and uh, rules and that. So we can bring in people with the skills that are going to help promote our economy as well and hopefully uh, these are people that would then stay and become uh, good productive uh, Canadians. I've been here for four years you know what's the definition of temporary? I come from a trades background also, an electrician, uh, I have a technical degree. Working on an international assignment uh, presents you with some different challenges, some different decision making processes that will help you for your career. We're trying to work with the Canadian government to make it easier to bring people from outside of Canada into Canada to work and I think we've made some strides and we will continue to do that because I think that's just going to benefit both countries. We're going to have a shortage. We're going to get people from the United States who speak the same language, basically have had the same training. We need them to help us build a replacement workforce. As an American, you're, you're on an international assignment, you're dealing with different cultures, you're dealing with different systems, different backgrounds, different thought processes, different ways of doing it, but coming together for the collective of solving the problem. The perks are the same. They are paid the same as if they were in their home union. The union in Canada transitions all their benefits and health insurance and everything back to their home uh, local. One thing that's also a benefit to most craftsmen or engineers coming up here is, is the standards that are used in construction and fabrication up here are very similar to those in the U.S. There's a lot of training that both the building trades and others put forward for people to take in Canada, which is fantastic. And I think there's also an opportunity if someone wanted to move up into the supervisory roles as a supervisor or foreman, the opportunity is there. I would recommend it. I mean, somebody that's just starting in the career, uh, they would get, gain a lot of experience working in Canada. You can come up here and start with what your knowledge or your trade is, but the opportunity to grow into better positions is outstanding. Well, the labor situation across Canada is we're running into an unprecedented time. We have work across from Newfoundland to Vancouver coming up, and we're going to have a difficult time filling those positions with Canadians only. And if you can demonstrate the skill and the ability to do it, they're going to give you the opportunity to rise. That's the good thing about 
this area and especially with the shortage of people they have. I would have to say some mornings I have to wake up and remind myself I'm in Canada. I don't see much difference. The job sites uh, are very clean, very safe, well organized. Very outdoorsy, lots of trees, lots of wildlife. I've seen moose, I've seen beaver, I've seen three bears. It doesn't take you long to learn how to put a couple layers of clothing on to deal with the cold. One bear was on my back porch here about a year ago in the spring and come down for coffee and you know, good morning.